everybody. Welcome to Take Off with John Clark. Please rate and review this podcast and subscribe for free. And now we're going to bring in a very special guest, a guy who has wrecked the Eagles for 10 years, and now he is a bird. Ryan Kerrigan, we appreciate the time. Hey, glad to be here. Glad to be on. So what is this like being with the Washington football team for 10 years and really dominating the Eagles, and now you're joining the birds? I'm really excited. I mean, I've obviously been coming to Philly for 10 past 10 seasons. Uh, and so I got, I've, get, I've been able to experience the, the passion of the fan base there for 10 years. And yeah, I've been on the wrong end of it for, for a decade, but I mean, I, I know that passion is going to be, uh, be flipped for me this season. So I'm excited. Could you always tell that the birds fans and the Eagles as well, they had the game plan for you and they always had to know where you were and the fans probably didn't like you the way you were terrorizing the Eagles. Well, I hope not, because if they liked me, that meant I probably wasn't doing my job very well. So I hope they didn't like me, and I hope now that they do like me and my intents to play some good football so that, you know, they, they love cheering for me. So how did you decide to join the Eagles? There were a couple other teams after you. What was your decision-making process? I just felt like I, this was the, the scheme defensively that I fit in the best of the teams that I was looking at. And Coach Gannon, I think, is a really, you know, bright young mind as a defensive coordinator and he's a guy that I feel like I'm going to be able to learn a lot of a lot of ball from and, and I know he's going to put you know myself and all the other guys in positions that we can be successful I think during Jim Schwartz's time here the DNs were just getting after the quarterback it was all attack is Jonathan Gannon going to maybe switch that up a little bit maybe read and react sometimes yeah, I think it's going to be pretty you know look you know play what you get if you get if you're getting a run block you know play that if you're but if it's a but if it's, it's you're getting a pass key then you know take off toward the quarterback so it's uh I'm excited I, mean, I think it's going to allow us to, to really make plays on the edge now being a veteran and being in this league for 10 years or so you could have gone to a place that maybe was okay right there at Super Bowl level contender do you think this Eagles team can win Absolutely. I mean, I think people are pretty quick to forget that the Eagles made the playoffs in three of the past four seasons. And I mean, just won the Super Bowl a couple of years back. So, and I mean, I don't think anybody knows that better than me having played the Eagles all those times. And so, I mean, it's I, I, people, people that want to write off the Eagles are, I don't think are you know very, I don't think they're on top of it. Like they, like they should be. How about the guys you're going to join on the defensive line, like Brandon Graham, Derek Barnett, and those guys. I'm fired up. I mean, I, I've been talking to Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham a good amount. They they were you know really gracious and reached out to me when even when I was just visiting the team and were you know encouraging me to come on board. So uh, that really that really meant a lot, and that was one of the big you know, honestly big big factors in coming to Philly as along with the defensive scheme was just the guys reaching out. You know, the coaches were reaching out you know constantly, and um, and that really felt good. I really I really feel wanted there, and and I'm a part. I'm happy to be a part of it. So you haven't been recruited probably since college. Was this a good recruiting process? Oh, it was great. I mean, I, yeah, like you said, I haven't been recruited since I was in college. So to, to get that feeling again, like I you know, was getting when I was 17, eight years, 18 years old was, uh, was kind of a cool little way to turn back the clock. And uh, I'm excited that it, you know, it worked out the way it did. Any other good phone calls or texts or DMS or anything from anybody with the Eagles that really sold it? I mean, uh, Howie Roseman called me many times, you know, uh, Mr. Lurie texted me, uh, uh, Coach Sirianni. They, they all were just very, they made it clear that they wanted me to be a part of the team and that they thought I could you know, really help them. And I mean, just, you know, that the way that they made me feel and that they, you know, how welcome they made me feel really was a big, uh, was just, it was huge in the, in the recruiting. I'm sure you saw Chris Long, how he came to the Eagles and he was great on the field. He was also a great veteran presence and brought leadership do you kind of envision that being what's going to happen here with you coming here I hope so Chris Long made a made a great impact in this couple of years in Philly I mean I've you know I got to see it firsthand you know and, and you know with a couple of times we played them each year and I mean he's I've always been a big fan of his he's been a good friend of mine since I've came into the league and I'm uh I'm, I'm excited to you know now kind of you know take that role as well and, and hopefully help the team in, in the same way Chris did yeah, and it ended up with a parade, so that was pretty good. Absolutely. That's, that's, the, that's the goal. Did it bother you playing in Washington during that time when Eagles fans would come down there and take over your stadium? Yeah, 
it did it like i yeah like i, mean, I remember specifically the, the 2018 game when you know we when the if they if the eagles won the game they went to the playoffs i mean the stadium was there was a large contingent of, of philly fans there and i mean now i see that as a good thing at the time i was like man like that's they're they really travel well and now i'm like all right they really travel well so like it's you know it's good to be on this end of it now what were your experiences like coming to the link uh driving in on the buses and then trying to leave after maybe you had a couple sacks against the eagles oh yeah we were we were definitely greeted accordingly when we uh when we when the bus came into the into the link i mean you'd you'd, you'd see your little uh one finger salutes from the from the fans you'd, you'd have people you know you can tell they're mouthing some not very nice words and and i like it i it means they're that means they care that means they're passionate and i'm i'm glad that you know i'm i'm on their side how about last year? It seemed odd. I know they had some younger players in Washington, but you played less than 40% of the snaps and, and that you're used to, and yet you still had five and a half sacks and you had uh, a lot of big plays. Why don't you think you got the playing time there? Well, I just think that's kind of the, the way of the NFL. You know, when, uh, when you know, young, uh, you know, the league is always, is usually trying to get younger and, uh, and that's, that's no different than, than in Washington. And, um, you know, when you have a chance to, you know, draft a guy like Chase Young, I mean, you, you can't pass up on that. And so I, I get it. It's a, it's a business at the end of the day and um, no hard feelings or anything. I just, uh, you know, I tried to make the most of the reps I got. How much do you think you have left in the tank? Well, I definitely feel like I still got something to bring and, and I'm, I'm excited to, to be able to prove that this fall. I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to getting to Philadelphia, getting to work with the guys and hopefully, you know, making a lot of fans happy this fall. Is it almost like a reset? I mean, do you, I mean, you have like the second most forced fumble since you've come into the league, you have the fifth most sacks, but you know, now that your time has come to an end in Washington, is there anything to prove at all? I mean, I, I just want to prove that I, that I can still play and that I can still be a factor, you know, in, in not only the pass game, but the run game in the, in the building too. I think that's important. You know, I've, you know, I've always tried to carry myself well and be, be a guy that the younger guys can look up to. So I hope to continue to do those things to continue to make plays on the field and hopefully to hopefully keep getting after the quarterback. Have you had the chance to talk to Nick Sirianni yet with his energy? I have. Yeah. We, uh, you know, coach Sirianni and I actually, we, uh, we, um, we had dinner when, when I, when I came into Philly, we had some great visits and, you know, he, he was texting me over the weekend as well. We'd after my visit, you know, saying, you know, we, we need to get you here. I want to, you know, you could be a, a great, great player for us. And yeah, it really meant a lot to me. And everyone around the building when I was at NovaCare kept saying how much energy he has, how much positivity he brings to every day. And that's huge. I mean, the NFL season's a long, long season. So you need people that bring positive energy. And, and he certainly does that. How did you keep this process quiet? How come we didn't know about this recruitment? You know, I'm shocked that it was kept quiet because, you know, it's everything seems to get out nowadays. And and so I was very surprised that, you know, it wasn't uh, that it was it, it, it didn't uh, get get out, which I, mean, I was happy about that because I, you know, I wanted you know to I, it's, it's better that it's quiet. But it's uh, yeah, I, I was I was surprised as well. You know, I want to have a little quiz with you as you have 13 and a half sacks against the Eagles in your career. That's tied for the most against any team. Can you name me the five Eagles quarterbacks that you have sacked in your career? I think I can. Let's see. Um, Nick Foles, Michael Vick, um, Mark Sanchez, Carson Wentz. Oh, <laughs> who's this last one? Oh, man, you got four or five. Sam uh, Brown. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 2015. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's right. So, do you know who you sacked the most? I'd say, probably say Wentz. Yeah, so six that, and a half times. Six and a half times. Who was the hardest Eagles quarterback to sack? I mean, Michael Vick was. He, I mean, that dude. That's a that's a different level of of football player. I mean, I remember you know when I lined up against him for the first time. You know, I'd, I'd watched him growing up when he was with the Falcons, and I'm like, I'm actually playing against this dude now. And his athletic ability was just unbelievable. So I'd probably say him. Nice. All right, now we have a little surprise for you. 
We've got somebody on here who is really happy that you're finally his teammate, mystery guest. Do you want to jump on in? Oh, what's up, man? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, what's up, dude? What's up? Where'd you uh, did you end up finding a place yet? Not yet. We're still looking, but you know, I'm, I'm we're looking forward to getting out there. I'm telling you, hey, J Jersey's where it's at. Don't don't go to Philly side. Go to Jersey. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll, we'll 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 look at it. We'll look over there. So this is pretty cool because over the last eight years, I mean, that's been one of the best battles to watch. And I actually just watched all of your sacks, Ryan, in your career. That was on YouTube. And I will say in defense of Lane, some of those sacks were when Lane was out and he wasn't actually on the field. Well, yeah, I'd say that makes sense. He's a, he's a damn good right tackle. I mean, it's, I mean, that was a, uh... I mean, I'm glad it was a fun matchup for the fans to watch because that's a that's a that was a tough one to be a part of. That's a that's a hell of a right hey, tackle over there. Yeah, I'll tell you, yeah, it's a lot fun watching it than it is uh, having to go out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lane, I believe Lane, you've said that Ryan was up there with the very best, or maybe even the best that you've had to face. Um, is he right there? Yeah, what makes Ryan so good is. Obviously, he's a smart player, so the more he plays you, the more he picks up on you. Um, one good thing about him is that he always he gets off the ball quick. He understands getting off the line of scrimmage. And once I think his goal is, once he sees that tackle turn his shoulders, he's going to take the path of least resistance and really pry open that, that inside shoulder. A lot of my sacks, he's beat me, I think, a few times around the edge, but a lot of times he gets his pressure. If I may overstep, because he knows I like to get off the ball too, and he'll – he'll pry you open. And that's what he's been good at. I mean, his whole career, he's, I've seen him do that to many people over the years. Uh, when I'm in there and whenever I'm not in there, the people uh, that are in there filling my shoes. So yeah, man, it's just, it's one of those, one of those players that, you know, when you go up against them, you just know it's going to be a, a battle. It, it is what it is. There's no way around it, but I'm, uh, I'm glad he's on my, my side now. So I can, I'm anxious to kind of uh, pick his brain so he can tell me stuff about guys, maybe the rushers, what they're trying to do against me and maybe I can help him out too. So I'm anxious to, to get that uh, in this year. Yeah. How about for you, Ryan, when you would be preparing to go against Lane and the Eagles offensive line, I mean, how tough was it facing Lane? It was as tough as I, it was as tough as I had on my, on the schedule every year. It was like, you know, you'd look at, you know, whenever the schedule would come out, I'd look at one of the two games against Philly works. I was like, those are going to be the real battles against him. I mean, he's just, you know, for a guy that big to be able to move like that, it's just not, it's, you don't find that that, that that often. And so it was, it was really cool to, you know, to battle him all those times. And now we're on the same side. So the feeling's mutual that, you know, I want to, you know, learn from him, just like he said, he wants to learn from me. So what are these battles in training camp and practice going to be like with you too? Probably, uh, probably a, a lot of the same. <laughs> He's uh yeah, I mean, with him, I'll have him, I'll have BG. So, really, there's a – it's just a tough lineup for me. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, when you go against players like that, year in, year out, you get better. Um, and just uh, – I mean, it is what it is. Iron sharpens iron. And, you – I mean, you, you go against good competition, him and BG. Both are extremely strong, and both are known for, for pushing the pocket, for bull rushing, and, and using a lot of power to their advantage. So, going against guys like them – will really prepare you for, you know, the rest of the NFL. Whereas, I mean, there's guys that will go around you, but there's nothing more humiliating than getting bull rushed into the quarterback. So um, there's two guys got to go against BG and him. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a good battle. And now that you won't have to face each other in games anymore, can you both reveal anything like, were there any tells or anything that you saw with the other? I mean, not for me. It was it was just like, hey, I gotta get off the ball, hit him with my best stuff, and 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 go from there. Because I knew I knew it. that was the thing about you know whenever we played each other, it was it was gonna be a battle each snap. Like neither one of us was gonna take a play off, and because we knew we couldn't. You know, like I knew I couldn't be be slipping against him, and he and 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 because if I was, I was gonna look bad. So. You know, it was just – it definitely it definitely makes you better, and I hope, I'm hoping that's the case this year, that, you know, going against him in practice will make the games a lot easier. And, Lane, I believe you've said you do face some defensive ends and pass rushers that you hear a lot of mouth from, but 
Did you say Ryan never said anything on the field to you? No trash talk, nothing. Hey, I thought he was. I thought he was deaf for eight years. Every time I'd be jabbering at him, just messing with him. But he 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 always kept it classy. He uh, and he really he and he was one of those guys that never really tried to show if he was you know got tired. You know, one of those guys. I mean, he's you know it's it's a game it's a game of chess out there. So you go against guys that are really good and stay around the league a long time. They're they're very smart players. So just like you said. Uh, Anytime I may have took off or something, he'd expose you and, and kind of vice versa. I mean, it's that's the way it goes in this league. I mean, you look at straight hand against uh, against uh, Runyon for all those years. I mean, here's what it is, man. It's, a, it's the matchups you like to see. So, Ryan, you're not a big trash talker on the field, right? No, not at all. I mean, I'm usually too tired to, to get anything out. And, you know, it, I, the only times I've ever had tried to talk trash just comes out in like a a dumb sounding slew of expletives and it's just like that's just that doesn't even sound cool so i decided to keep it to a very minimum out there <laughs> a little like uh andrew luck as nice as andrew luck on the field <laughs> well i wouldn't say i'm complimentary but i just i don't really say much i mean you know with lane and i we just you know we try to beat the hell out of each other during the play and then you know after the play it's you know it's all respect nice um uh, this is pretty cool i mean i don't know if this happens too often where you guys Two guys back like you have, and now you're joining forces. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, this year what I'm excited about is you get, you know, you can learn a lot from from superior players. I mean, you really can. I mean, there's, there's a reason why they're so successful, why they're so good at what they do. Uh, they're very smart. They, they pick up on stuff. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's really – kind of the case uh, with us. Um, but yeah, one thing I struggle with is whenever Ryan, when he'd always line up outside wide, but he had that tilted technique, and so it was illusion. So some of them stacks early, I would think he's a wide nine, and I'd overset, and he would just obliterate me inside. So that's one thing I did <laughs> learn from him. So, <laughs> Did you know that, Ryan? Yeah, I mean, you got you to gotta play the play the mind games a little bit. You know, you show him, oh, he's, he's way out really wide, and then you – take a tight course to them and you're on them before they expect to expect you and they can throw them off at times so lane what ryan is doing coming to philly could you imagine like joining the giants or the cowboys i couldn't i mean i was it was i was them let him go somebody that has to you know leads the franchise in total sacks and has been you know the heartbeat of that team for 10 years so i mean it is what it is the nfl's a business uh but like I said, man, I'm glad to have you on my team, and I know that's those are two games that he's going to be really riled up for is, is Washington, so I'm excited for him. Yeah, how about that, Ryan? I mean, you're actually not going to face your former team, Washington, until December, and then you don't go back to Washington until January. Um, what's that going to be like? It'll be interesting for sure. I mean, I've, you know, obviously been there for 10 years, so that'll be – That'll be, uh, I think, the only team in the NFL that I haven't played against. So I get to get the get to check off that box and you know hopefully uh, hopefully make some plays and win the game. And uh, you're following Bryce Harper to Philly now. What was it like to be in D.C. with Bryce and, and what he's doing here with the uh, Phillies? Oh, he was the man. I mean, that dude was unbelievable. That that home run derby he had when he in uh, I think 2018 when he with, when he was you know doing it at Nats Park. It was it was wild. And I know D.C. really loved him and. Now it's, uh, it's cool to see him in Philly still killing it. Ryan, I know you saw Jalen Hurts last year in the second game, and obviously he was a backup and then took over, uh, and he didn't have a good game against you guys. What did you see that Jalen can work on but that he's got that could get him to be a starting quarterback in the NFL? I think like any young quarterback, it, you just need, you need reps, you need time to develop, and I mean, but he, for him, I mean, as a pass rusher, as a defend, defensive player, when you got a guy that can move around like that in the pocket, it totally, it changes so much of how you, you know, how you approach pass rushing, how you approach getting to the quarterback. Cause you can't just fly around the edge or else he's going to, you know, you're going to expose that B gap and he's going to have a lane to, you know, scramble and maybe throw on the run or, or run it. And so when you play a guy with that kind of skill set, it's really tough. So I'm glad that, you know, that I'm on his side now. How about for you, Lane? I know uh, you've had Jalen Hurts over the bro barn. You're golfing with him, uh, and he's there at the facility working out. What are you seeing from him as far as leadership and kind of taking command? Yeah, man, really taking it day by day. You know, we're doing uh, lifting and uh, walkthroughs right now, but really 
learning a, a new offense, so trying to get the terminology down. But far as ability, man, he's he's off the charts, and uh, you know we're making progress uh, with what we're doing now. Uh, you know, a lot of teams aren't going in, but I feel like this will help us. You know, going into training camp, um, having some of this stuff, uh, you know, in. So, but yeah, man, he's looked good. Um, Flacco's been looking good, and and really a lot of new faces. So I'm still trying to learn a lot. Uh, you know, the, the new guys coming in too. So we got that too. And and how about a lot of people talking about the comparison of Chris Long when he came to the Eagles? Do you think this is a lot like that with Ryan Kerrigan coming here, and and he's not only got the play on the field but the leadership? Yeah, I think uh, maybe Ryan's uh, sack dance maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit better than Chris's. Uh, Chris kind of had that what it was fanny pack. To, I don't, I don't even know what you call that, but if Ryan gets a couple this year, hey, I may be doing it on the sidelines with him, so I'll be happy to. <laughs> you gonna bring that. Uh, Sack dance with you to Philly? He said it's coming with him. Yeah, yeah probably. I mean, I just, I just hope I have a reason to do it. That's all I'm saying. I just want to, I want to, I want to have a reason to do it. So <laughs> that means I'm getting to the quarterback. Nice. Well, I got to tell you, it was great. Uh, it was great catching up with you, Ryan, for the first time. And Lane, uh, I mean, Lane has been fantastic here in in Philadelphia. So uh, we welcome you to town. And everybody talks about your character. What are some of the things off the field as well that you really believe in um and you and you put a lot of your time and also money into i mean i, I just i knew coming into the league that i wanted to get involved in some philanthropic work and i've been able to do that a lot you know throughout my career with uh you know, i had a foundation for a while the blitz for the better foundation that you know just helped children in need um been a part of the leukemia lymphoma society the multiple sclerosis uh foundation um just trying to help people in need and that's that's something i really believe in and Luckily, I've had the platform to do it for a decade plus now and hope to, you know, hope to continue to help help those in need. Great. Well, we welcome you to Philly and uh, really appreciate the time and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys together at training camp. All right, thank you. Thank you.